Good morning if you're starting to join us. Welcome along. Lovely to have your company. Hope you're enjoying yourselves this Saturday. Hello Louise, welcome along. Good morning everybody. Morning Janice, hello. Don't be frightened to say hello if you're watching for the first time. Welcome, it's lovely to have your company today for this uh, fun, uh, fun little lesson that we're going to go through. My clock's a little bit fast this morning. Morning, Christine. Seventeen of you so far, that's wonderful. A lot of bongs. This video will remain on our Facebook page forever and ever under the video section, so if you uh, turn in late um, because you've forgotten or you've just seen it come up on your uh, notifications that's fine um, you can always watch it at any other point Lovely to have you joining us today. All right, so it's eleven o'clock. You know what that means. Time for some arty fun this morning. All you need is some paper, a pencil, or and a pen. It doesn't really matter which you've got. Um, I'll probably use both so you can see, but it won't make any difference. The paper can be printer paper. It doesn't, nothing special needed for today at all. It's just going to be a fun day. Fun day, well, fun morning, looking at cartoon faces. That's good. Let's get some relaxing bird song on for a bit of ambience. I don't know how loud they are. If a bit too loud, let me know. I can talk them out. 27 of you. Good morning. Welcome. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Hello. Hello, hello. I want to wave, really. Hello. Um, so yes, it's um, all about cartoon faces today. Um, I thought I'd just quickly show you the pad. Um, these pads are relatively new. And it's made from recycled paper cups. Um, and we sell them in the shop, obviously. Um, you can purchase these online, even though we're closed at the moment, um, until the 15th of June, where it's collection only. Um, and from the um, shop appy site that's at the bottom of the page there um, 
you can pick anything up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do say hello. 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 I'm not in the shop today, Sue. No. Morning, Rosemary. Morning, Gabriella. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Hello, Sandra. I am at home today. I am at home. Um. Hi, Grace. So it's just a really fun exercise. Morning, Jules. I've got to speak properly, haven't I? Because you can't understand my black country accent. Good morning, Jules. How are you? You okay today? Um, so this is fun. It doesn't really matter what age you are, to be honest. Um, it's just a really fun way to make um, cartoon faces and expressions. Um, obviously, I... I, I run the artery. Um, it, it's my shop and I teach all of the classes there, uh, bar probably about two a year. Um, it's cartoon faces today. Uh, faces and expressions. So it's a family fun lesson today. Um, so it's just a, a 50 minute or so uh, little simple fun lesson because it's half term. But also um, a long, long, long time ago, uh, before I ran an art shop and taught grown-ups, I used to teach um, children. So um, I'm kind of going back to my roots because it's half term. I've forgotten it was half term um, because all the days are all over the place, aren't they, at the moment? So it's hard to know um, what day it is or where we are. Um, but uh, exactly, Jules, I, I will try to speak properly um, at all times when I'm in your presence. Um, so yeah, just do some simple cartoons, um, how, how to build up a face and to understand expressions and things. So as I say, this is cut, cycled, recycled uh, paper, more in Norma. Um, and it's real fun. So if you have got little ones with you, it's really great for them. Also, um, for uh, youngsters, it's good for fine motor skills because obviously you're holding pencils and things. But also the way I teach cartooning and, and faces, it's great for number recognition, shape recognition, letter recognition, as well as understanding um, facial expressions and uh, emotions. So it works in lots of different ways um, for all people and it is quite fun to do so as I say I've just got um, paper uh, a pen and a pencil uh, you don't have to have all of those you can have a pen or a pencil it really doesn't matter um, it's all about having fun and enjoying yourself as well and I just want to quickly say congratulations to the winners of Bambi Artist of the Year competition amazing amazing entries this year um, and it's wonderful to have so much creative talent in the Banbury area um, where are you all watching from today I know a few of you so I know you're all from the Banbury area or the, the North Oxfordshire area maybe a bit of South Northamptonshire or Warwickshire um, are any of you further afield from there because occasionally for our watercolour classes we get people from all over the world and I love to know where you're all from Lovely Paul, excellent. Oh, Gold Coast Australia. Hi, Jennifer. How much is what, Sue? Sorry. The pad, the pad, the the, uh, the recycled uh, cup cycles, called cup cycles paper is. I think it's a pad is about five, five, six pounds. They're on our shop happy page anyway, um, which you can see on the link. Uh, well, not the link, but you can see it below. So. Um, we start with a really, really basic face shape. And um, that is just a circle. Now, I thought I picked up a circle just in case. But you could use a lid or a jam jar lid or anything that's round. And I haven't got anything that's round or right by me. That doesn't matter. Um... I want something about that big. A jam jar lid is too big, I think. But I could do it that size just to show you. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, it's lovely to have so many of you with us. It's very sunny here in North Oxfordshire as well. 
really sunny blue skies no clouds so I'm just gonna draw a circle and I'm cheating just for this one so this is our basic face shape a circle and then from this circle we're gonna add a C and a capital D like that so this is going to be our basic face and then from this all of our different emotions um, can come into play and we can do lots of fun things with it so I said earlier there's lots of letters and numbers in cartooning and and if you can use shapes letters and numbers it makes life a lot easier so you can um, recognize the shapes and repeat them uh, again and again so in this ear we're going to put a, a capital T and in this ear we're going to put a capital J and that looks like the creases in our ears oh it's lovely I've just seen there's 40 of you with me that's really lovely to have all of you joining me today thank you so much for for watching and, and drawing along Oh, Chichester, East Midlands, Kent. Wow, thank you. Now for a nose, we can change the nose in a bit so we can see how how it changes uh, the shape of the face and what have you. But I'm going to do a capital U. Like that. So really... This says Tudge. T -u -j, T-U-J-Tudge. So T-U-J. And this wouldn't really have to change. So you can keep this shape. Ooh, rugby. Not too far from me, really. I'm on the north border. Um... So we've got T, U and J in our ears. And then what I'm going to do. You haven't got to paint along at all, Jules, no. You can just watch if you like. Have your slippers on, put your feet up with your cup of tea. And you can just watch me draw some cartoon faces. That's fine, you don't have to join in at all. So we've got our T, our U and our J. And then for the eyes, I'm just going to draw two little black beads with a white dot in. So two little black beads with a white dot now that is your basic face shape now what you could do is use that if you did that in pen and then you had tracing paper over the top you could use the tracing paper to change the expressions and you can add to it so that is our basic cartoon face but now we have to think about um, emotions and when you do cartoons you have to exaggerate the emotions or make them um, look bigger than they really are so let me just draw let me just draw our touch face I should call this touch cartooning really so we've got our circle our capital C our capital D T, U, J. As I say, this be this uh, video will stay on here forever. So all you have to do is check out our video section in on this page after the uh, after the video finishes, and you'll be able to see um, this video as many times as you like. So I thought we'd start with a happy face. We need to see a happy face, don't we? So there is a bit of audience participation in here. Um, I just want you to smile. Not a really big, big smile, but just a smile. And to feel... Um, hello, Hazel. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm slow reading the, the things at the moment. Um, a, a really nice smile. Your best smile. 
and feel what happens to your cheeks as you smile and what happens to your mouth as you smile and maybe touch what happens to your eyebrows does anything happen to your eyebrows when you smile so when we do that we can feel that we do have a nice a nice little smile like that so we'll do a little curve our cheeks rise up a little bit so we could even just put two little curves underneath his eyes there and we can also put a little curve here because as we get older we get a few more lines along our mouths but this helps show where our cheeks are and then my eyebrows rise a little bit when I smile so two little thicker curves like that now if you notice I'm not showing my teeth or anything in this smile but I could open the mouth a little bit like that and then for if, if you've got the mouth open you might see the tongue and the tongue is like a m shape and I can fill that in so a small M will give you the tongue and then just a little line underneath for the lip so we've got a smile Right, so let me get my next touch face because we're going to go for a really big smile now. So we've got our circle. Our C. And our D. T. U. J. Oh, no. Do you know what? Let's, let's not do the eyes for a second. It depends how big we're going to grin. So we're going to do a massive grin now. A really big grin. So make your biggest, happiest smile that you can do. And I hope you're all doing this. Jules, I know you will be. Uh, your biggest smile. And if I really, really grin, and I haven't got a mirror here on purpose, um, I can't see my eyes close a little bit when I do a really big grin so I'm going to draw three little lines that looks a little bit like the end of a fork or bird's feet like that and we with the eyebrows still rise a little bit but this time I'm going to go for a really big smile so big that it's making all of my wrinkles come out little line there and then all of our teeth are showing because we're so happy lots of teeth now you could if you wanted to draw a line there so we've got top teeth and bottom teeth but you could just leave it as a straight line up and down but you can see how using these circles and the touch face what goes on around the mouth and the eyes can make a big difference to how um, the emotion or the emoji if you think of emojis that's how it works isn't it really that's just a circle with uh, thank you Cheryl 
Um, that's just a circle with um, different eyes and features. And it's how you make it simple so you can do it again and again and again. There's lots, lots of times so you know um, how... Because you, when you see a face, you can tell if somebody's happy or sad. And sometimes when you do cartoons or drawing, you have to think about what those um, ways are. So you can tell if somebody's happy, what makes them look happy. And then when you understand what can make you look happy, you can draw it. So let's do another face because we've done happy. Let's do another touch. A C, a D, T, J, U. Right now, I'm going to put my little beads of uh, little back circle with white dots in. So we're back to our normal face. Right, so now we're going to do an angry face. So we want you to be angry. So pull a really angry face really 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 cross and you can tell i'm pulling an angry face because my voice has changed and i'm very angry so what happens feel your eyebrows when you are angry what happens to them they sort of come down don't they around your nose and they go a bit higher outside of your eyes now because this is a cartoon we have to make it exaggerate it so we make it uh, bigger than it really is so i'm going to go really down like that sort of like a squiggly s and then we'll do another one oh look at that we can tell that's an angry face already and we've not really done anything else to it. Right, so keep your angry face. If you've got a mirror, it helps so you can see what your face looks like, but don't scare yourself too much. Um, so make an angry face again. Right, so your eyes are down and maybe a, a bit of a snarl because you're really cross. So instead of a smile, I'm going to draw a triangle like that and then we know we've got teeth there so because it's a bit of a snarl your mouth's down a little bit so i'm going to put a little lumpy bulge there and there from our cheeks or our jowl area by our chin that's called your jowls and then a little line underneath for your lip but we can take this even further. We can make him feel very angry. And there are a few other ways you can do it. So I'm going to put a little line here to show he's got the wrinkles by his nose that we get as we get a little bit older. Or you might have it if you're really pulling an angry face. Oh dear, that is a bit angry. Right. I'm going to make his eyes wide as well with a few lines out of it like that oh dear and then um, maybe if he's really angry he might be hot and annoyed so we'll do two little lines so we've got two little sticks of broccoli coming out of his ears so it looks like steam I like broccoli really angry if you've got colored pencils i haven't got any colored pencils with me today which is a shame because you could make his cheeks a little bit red i have got i have got a little bit of watercolor hang on i can show you how a bit of color helps i'm 
Right, so I'll just use a little bit of red watercolour paint on his cheeks. Not a lot of paint, because I did say you didn't need this and you don't need it. Um, but just a little bit high up on his cheeks there really makes him look a little bit cross. So colours help identify and show us different emotions as well as parts of the features of the face. So that's our really angry man. I'll do expressions first and if you've got time I'll show you how you can change the touch to make totally different uh, faces. So we're going to keep at the moment things exactly as they are. So let me move my pad up a little bit and then I'll do another touch face. So we've got our circle. We could just do a circle freehand and that would be just fine. Our C, our D, T, U, J. Okay, so we've done a normal face, and a face without any expression, our basic face. And we've got a, a happy face, a really happy face, an angry face. Oh, there is another thing. I could add just a line coming down here, and that makes him feel even angrier. So we've got our T, U, J, and our little black beads with a white dot. Now, what face am I going to get you to pull now? How about... a sad face? Okay, so now I want to imagine you're really, really sad. Your favourite show on CBBS isn't on today and it's making you really, really sad. What happens to your face then? Good, I'm glad, Melly. I, I, I'm, I'm having fun too, um, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so pull a really, really sad face. Maybe even pretend to cry a little bit. And you can hear that my voice is very sad too. So I'm pulling a sad face. And what's happening with my face is my eyebrows are drooping in this direction. Oh dear. And then my mouth is curving downwards. Let's go really big curve down. And a bit like our angry face, we'll draw our cheeks with jowls here. And a little line underneath for his lip. We could put just a little bit of wrinkles on his brand. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself so it is fun and sometimes it's really go good to go back to basics like this um, even as a grown-up because we always tend to want to do the hard stuff don't we the, the really tricky things but sometimes it's nice to to look at the simple ways because you learn new ways of doing things about being creative and these are doodles you can do um, if you're a grown-up while you're on your um, on the phone or something chatting to someone you can draw an angry face or a sad face or a happy face so i'm glad you're enjoying yourselves oh is the clangers finished really that is sad that is sad this is also good uh, parents this is also good if you've got a chart like this um you can put this up if you if you if your children draw um a sheet of these faces it exactly for PSHE Marie exactly um, also what this will help with um, is the children could point to a face if 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 they're quite young and they're not very good at making themselves um, known in, in how they feel they could use you could use one of these and the children can point to it to show you how they feel at that moment um, 
which will help you understand your child's emotions as well. But yes, it's perfect for PSHE. Okay. So another touch face. I'm going to do this one. Oh, I'm glad, Jessica and Oliver. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm going to do this one a little bit lower down. And you'll see why. Oh, good. I'm glad, Paul. Okay, so here we go. Here's our touch face. Got our circle. Our C. Our D. T. Oh. J. Touch. And, oh, yeah, our little black beads with white dots in. Yeah, you, you're ahead of me, Sue. You are ahead of me. So now, we're going to do a surprise face, like you're really, really shocked. <gasps> that kind of shocked. Oh, well, that's good, you see. A present always makes a happy face, doesn't it? I have a happy face if somebody makes me a cup of tea. So we want a really, really surprised, a surprised face. <gasps> so what happens? Our eyes get bigger. So because this is a cartoon, we want to make them even bigger. So here we go. There we can indicate the whites of our eyes are really big. We're going to have a bong. There we go, because it's half past. And our mouth, now if we're surprised, our mouth might just be open like that. And then if you remember from our smiling face, with a small M or an M in there for our tongue, and we can fill it in there, in a little line. So that's a surprised face. Ah, oh, you see, I haven't got my beard on yet. You ought to. And there's, there's a fun thing we're going to do at the end um, that is really, really nice um, for children and grown-ups to do um, for letter recognition and also how you can... It's, it's a good link between art and letters. Um, so we'll see that. So, right, there's our surprise face. Now, if we want to make that into a scary face, so we're really scared... We've just seen something that scares us. So we're like, <gasps> what happens? Our eyes probably get a little bit wider and our mouth might wobble and tremble a little. I'll just fill that in a little bit more. Our eyebrows shoot off the top of our head because we're so scared. And what else will happen? I do some zigzags. Now you can tell why I've dropped it a lot lower. Our hair might stand on end and we might tremble. So if we use little speech marks around the face, it will show that we've got, uh, we're, we're shaking because we're so scared. I have forgotten something on our sad face. If you were really sad, you might cry. So we might have a tear, just one tear would show that he's a sad face. So it's a really good way of finding out your own face, really, especially if you look in a mirror. Um, and what else happens is um, if you've watched Shaun the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit and all of those things, the um, animators at Ardman Animation actually uh, do exactly the same thing. But instead of drawing it, they look in the mirror to pull faces and see what happens to their eyes and their mouth and their cheeks. And then they sculpt that in plasticine. I might do an animation day one day soon um, on here. 
because all you need is a smartphone and it works. Um, so those are some basic expressions. And we have still got time, so that's good. So I hope you're enjoying this so far, grown-ups and children. Um, but because it's half term, this is fun. But as, as ever, with everything that we do, it's always got to be education. But it's, um, it's a really interesting way to look at numbers and letters. Um, and I'll show you a few other things that you can do with, with numbers and letters um, in a minute. Because we've got the time. So let me just move that out of the way. I said I'd show you um, different ways of doing the touch face. Because it doesn't have to be a circle. You can do it as an oval shape. So if you've got an oval shape like that. Good. Yeah, I'll do something like that, um, Louise, I think, for sure. I'll see if I can factor one in. So we've got a long face with our C and our D. So T and J. Now, I think if a long face... We can have a long nose, so a long U shape. Might do plast plasticine animation or something like that. Simple. I, I used to run a, an animation club a long, 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 long time ago. Those children are now probably in their 30s. Oh dear. That can't happen because I'm only 20. Right, so we've got our little black beads with white dots in. Oh, now, what we can do, I'll turn this into a lady. Um, and we'll do some different faces so you can see how we can add things to a face to make it um, more identifiable so you can see it as a different person. Okay, so if we just have... A slight smile on this lady so we've just got a little curve with two little curves on now if she wants to wear lipstick do a capital M on the top and a capital U underneath and two little circles on her ears for earrings Then, if we want to give her curly hair, we'll just draw sort of a cloud over the top of her head and a little bit underneath. And, oh, she needs some eyebrow. There we go. have 45 of you with us either watching along or joining in and you can watch this as many times as you want or need to oh. let's, um, let's turn our bird down a little bit more then because we don't want the birds birds might know a lot about animation though so um, oh, cartoons. Way to be. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so um, we'll stick with this. We'll stick with a long, thin face now for a, a minute or two. So these aren't going to be expressions. These are all more features and details. So a long face with a C and a D, and you can make them bigger or smaller. The ears, T and a J, and. Oh, this time, I'll, I'll, 
I'll do a smaller U shape like that am I back to normal now yeah I don't know what's um I don't I'm speaking right into the microphone at the moment so I think it might just be internet connection unfortunately I'm watching my um, microphone volume on um, the stream and it's really high but uh, I'm not quite sure why okay so we'll do our little black beads put those a little bit closer together because that'll give us a different um, shape face and oh I don't know maybe we could put a moustache on him um, we'll give him a little little bit of hair like that some thick eyebrows a little bit of hair on the side so zigzags zigzag hair and then let's give him a moustache so we're going to come down two curves a straight line and then bring those little lines in to show its hair and we can still put oh give him a couple of wrinkles like that because he's an older man Oh, we could we could stick a tongue out excellent so we'll do uh, a slight curve there and then a u-shape with a line down the middle so lots of zigzags with hair either curly or zigzag okay so let's think of some other things that we can use so we've got a, a capital M and a U a T and a J and a U um, there are other letters we can use what I have done um, back when I used to teach um, little ones we thought of a face so what I what something that you can do not necessarily now but you could, um, if I go back with my circle set, I'm going to give you, you're allowed to use a circle, the ears, and the beads with the, with the holes in. But can you try to make a cartoon face using the letters of your name and that's tricky it depends if you've got a long name or a short name now Paul I know you're watching this so we could do it. I could do it right let's try Paul um, so we've got a P where could a P go now a P could be part of the clothing or it could be part of the face oh yeah what we could have is a baseball cap with a capital P so we need an A a U and an L Ooh. it could be a capital A or a small A Oh, if we do an upside down capital A, we've got a mouth. Now for the U, we could use the U as a nose, couldn't we? A 
and if I use a, a capital L upside down I can use that in the one ear so I've got a face that says Paul so if if you can use that and that can be like your logo for how how you can draw your yourself so that's your challenge over the next few days and I would love to see how you use the letters of your name to make a cartoon face can it even look like you it doesn't have to be a circle it could be an oval um, so that's your challenge I wanted to get that in quickly because um, we are going to run out of time soon so um, do think about that can you use the letters of your name so that is P A U L oh if we're going to do a beard because you might want to do a pirate or father Christmas or something I'm going to draw an egg shape with our C and our D T J U our little beads now a beard's quite cool because we can go with the moustache and the beard all in one go or you could draw it separately so um, we could just bring a line around from the top of his head like that let's, let's give him a bit of hair on the top doesn't look a bit like me now so you could add a moustache or you could leave it like that um, if you wanted to add a moustache on it you could sort of do it like that but to show its hair oh Jennifer that's really fun I, if we get time I'll try and do one um, with Jennifer because there's a few few possibilities in there hmm I'll have a think so with the moustache I'm going to bring some lines going that way and with the beard I'm going to bring some lines going that way and we could of course just have a little smile and his chin underneath I have a little bit more hair than this you could make this line more more zigzag if it was more of a rough beard and obviously if it was a pirate you could pop an eye patch on and oh yeah if it is a pirate if I just erase the top of his head poor pirate I could put on here a cap a circle and two little uh, teardrops and we've got a proper pirate he's quite a happy pirate though quite a happy pirate indeed right let me think of um, Jennifer let me think of a face for you quickly and then I'll show you something else with um, with letters and numbers while we're still doing cartoons so I said you could have the um, the face and the ear shape. Now you could do um, a few things with yours, Sue. Okay. Oh, Jennifer. Right. Okay. We could do um, if we make it the J the eyebrows and nose oh it won't be a nightmare that'll be quite fun because you could even use some of the letters for clothes so there's the J now we could put an E in that ear and an N in that ear so what I, what, what have I then got I've got 
an N, an I, an F, an E, and an R. Can we just call you Jenny? <laughs> um, oh yeah. Um, for your what you could do is put the I, so it could be winking. So I still need an N, an F, an E, and an R. Oh, this is tricky, isn't it? So starting to look at le as letters as art or shapes <coughs> really helps identify it. We can do this, I'm sure. Oh, good, James. I'm glad Jasmine is loving this. Thank you. Uh, Jen, right, so we've got another N. Might not be a girl. It ought to be a girl, though, hadn't it? Let me, let me write the name. So I can cross off the letters. So we use a J, we use an E, we use an N, we use an I. F. So don't forget, an F could be a capital F or a lowercase f, and it depends how you draw the F to what you can do with it. Oh, we. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to make it into a boy. The N would work for a mouth, absolutely. If we turn it upside down. that off now what I could do is if I if I turned it into a boy I know it's not quite right I could do a capital E for some hair a capital F for some hair I just need a, an R I could I could cheat and then use a little R there for some hair there. But it just gives you an idea anyway, and I'm sure you could do much, much better than this. Um, very quickly, I just want to show you um, other ways you could use um, numbers or letters, not just for faces, but for cartoon animals um, in general. Good, I'm glad, uh, Jessica and Ruth, that you've enjoyed this. So with a number two shape, number two, that can be anything you like. But for me, when I see the number two, I see a swan. So if I make that a bit pointy and bring that a little bit fatter, come up, I've got a number two swan. Now, number six. Oh, I'm glad, Jennifer, thank you. Um, so number six, well, if I draw a lemon with two triangles, a straight line, and a question mark, I've got a cat. If I draw another number six, then I draw an oval shape with two smaller triangles and a little curve like that, a little line there, and I'm going to do an, a much bigger tail. I've got a squirrel. If I put the number six onto its side, and I draw another oval, but with two long ears, and a little line there, and a little ball there, I've got a rabbit.
and then lastly I will show you this is it, it's all about uh, numbers letters and shapes today um, so a capital Y and my my normal my my grown up students would will recognise this because we use this a lot in our classes. A capital Y, if you then thicken it up at the bottom, and then do some wobbly capital Ys that get a bit smaller. on top of each Y we get a tree shape get a bit wider at the bottom so numbers letters and shapes are really important for artists um, and whenever I see anything that I want to draw I always look and see if I can make a number or a letter or a shape out of it first because when I can make it easy I know I can do it again so um, hopefully you've enjoyed today and uh, obviously these are free lessons that we do we don't do them very often because we, we can't really afford to do them all the time um, but I will try and do a few more every now and again. If you have enjoyed it and you want to leave us a little little tip, you can do it through PayPal, just at the bottom here on the bottom left. There's the, uh, that's our PayPal address if you want to just give us a pound or something. Um, but if not, it doesn't really matter, just enjoy the lesson and hopefully you found it really, really useful, um, especially with our touch faces. Um, and I really would love to see what you've been doing. For those of you that have been painting along or drawing along, I would love to see what you've created. And if you um, do any more or do manage to do the face with the letters of your name, um, really think about it. And if you do it, please share it on, on our page because I'd love to see what you're doing um, and uh, how you've been doing art. Uh, while you've not been at school or work um, so thank you very much it's been lovely to have your company with me this morning um, and I may do a few more of these family classes if you want um, please let us know if if you enjoyed it and the whole family enjoyed it because we will do more um, so thank you so much and I will speak to you all soon um, we've got lots of things coming up next Saturday is um, is one of our free demonstrations for 45 minutes or so and it's on how to make an object look 3d in um, watercolor so that's at 11 o'clock next saturday which is the 6th of june i can't believe it's that late already um so that's next saturday but thank you very much um have a good time have a lovely weekend and i will see you all soon take care